Let's go. You can make a case his confidence as well because of this. Now the starting group for the visitors. And Smitty, one thing we've noticed in an era of small ball, some teams are going big again. You're right, B.A. It's all about matchups, and if you can create an advantage, you have to have the personnel for every situation. If I was a coach, here's Neto. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. He's covered by Clarkson. To the left side wing. Playmaker hitting his man in stride. Pass to Caboclo. Out left to the wing. Puts up a three. No good there. Had about a minute gone in the first quarter. Down low. Six fires in the triple. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. The reason why it takes extra energy to do it, you have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Got a piece of it. Here's the break. Here's Clarkson, and he misses the fast break layup. I mean, you won't see this too often. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. He's covered by Clarkson. From downtown, Clarkson grabs a miss. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, okay? Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Can they get it? Oh, nice finish from the low block. That was good. Finally, a mate for this team. Hopefully it gives them a little confidence. For whatever reason, they came in a little tight tonight. That should loosen them up. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. And no good on his first shot of the night. Missing from one of four to start. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Trains the triple. Five points in the game. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. To the inside. And he takes the beat in stride and slams it home. One of the cases where hype fails to tell you the whole story. Gone two for five to start today's game. To the wing on the left. Lots of room. That shot is off. I'm not sure how he's going to explain that shot later. Low percentage chance. If it's not there, give up the rock. Trust your teammates. Now here's Clarkson. And the shot goes. Got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. Here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. The three is up. The shot comes out. It's gone five.
have a lead. Solid opening quarter for them. And there's a three second violation. So it's the home team now. They trail by six. He's covered by Clarkson. And that one's good. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to read it. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Steps back. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws are hit. Where you playing now? And he's good on the second. Gone three of eight to get things underway. Pass to Caboclo. To the left wing. No good with the triple. The three. And he can't connect. It's one for three in this game. Here's Neto. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Kamopo. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Shooting an excellent 56% on this quarter. Mr. Clarkson. From outside the arc. Second to the shot. The three is up. Got it. Two for five now. Good job finding the clean look behind the arc. On four of ten, shooting the rock in this first quarter. Castaneto. Out to the wing. Just five to shoot. And he can't answer back. The three pointer offline. Got half their attempts to go. Six of twelve. Here he goes, and that one is stopped right through. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Pass to Caboclo. Tries again. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It was a strong no, 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 no. The shot's just a little off. Seven of thirteen shots to drop. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Grant, I know you faced Kobe Bryant a lot over the years. What's the main thing you'll remember about him? Well, B.A., there's so much to remember about the late, great Kobe Bryant. The buzzer beaters, the excellence, uh, the, the dedication and focus he brought to his entire career. 
the thing that's beautiful about Kobe's journey is that starting off as a young man, trying to find his way, at times struggling and endearing himself to his teammates, and as he went through his career, he really became the elder statesman, the big brother. His influence on today's players was just incredible. And I, I think it was just a beautiful story to follow from start to finish. Uh, what an incredible ambassador for the game. What an incredible leader in the game of basketball. And he's someone that we all sorely miss today. Got plenty of daylight on that shot. It's got 10. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. On the wing, Clarkson. 20 feet out. They grab their own miss. Launches it. Nails it from three. Clarkson's got five points. Yeah, they're getting pummeled on the offensive board so far. Pass to Caboclo. Over to the left wing. That three's off the mark. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. The offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. Here's Neto. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. Felicio. Shooting only 31% to get this game underway. Out to the right wing. The shot from 20 feet out. That one doesn't drop. Missed opportunity wide open for mid range. He would love to get that one back. Hangs. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Free throw, no good. But he sinks the second. Here's Neto. He's money from there. And there's the slam. Dump the finish it off. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. And he's now one for four after that one. That's funny. That's funny. Put together a solid lead. It doesn't seem like they're going to back off. One fifty six left in the first. Shot clock at five. The fader counted one for one to start the game. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. We've 
got 128 left to play in the first. Launches a three. Big ball. He's now two of five from the field. This is the shot you want to give him. An open look from range. left in the first quarter here. The three, counted, one for one to start the game. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. To the middle. Oh, nice one-handed slam right there. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Let's it go from 11. The shot that time not on target. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. This rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Shooting 33% on the first quarter. Oh, they get a hand on it. Inside. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. So as we end the first quarter... <laughs> Through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Oh, what I love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition. That's their mindset. Attack, attack, and attack some more. You're not going to beat them playing soft. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Here's the name. And a miss there on the triple. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. A brilliant dunk. And he hangs up there for a while, too. Like he's posing for the camera. He's just hanging out, posing for pictures, just making himself at home. To the wing on the left. Goes up on the wing. That shot missing. I'm not sure how he's going to explain that shot later. Low percentage chance. If it's not there, give up the rock. Trust your teammate. Fires the three. Nene grabs the board. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter. Hasn't made one since. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Here's Kaboko. An important role in this offense, averaging around 12 and a half per game. And it's going to be a three second call. On Tuesdays, then on Thursday, they'll take on Christoph Porzingis. Got two of three shots to go in the second. Let's the three fly. And no good. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. 
second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. That's the Neto. Let's it go from deep. Can't connect. Now two of six for the game. Shooting an amazing 61%. Looking confident. Cash money from 16 feet away. He has six. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Now we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Down low. They set the pick. It's a three-pointer. Staying with it. He drained two triples in the first quarter. Now gets this one. Gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. To win the drought. He can't hit that time. He's had a tough time getting it going. And he's put this team behind the eight ball. Now here's Clarkson. Defense right on him. Let's it go from 11. Uses the glass that time. It's good. Well, you know, it's already tough to play like this at home, but it's even tougher to do so on the road. They built up this huge lead with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. You're thinking about an ideal NBA backcourt. What's the makeup look like for you? BA, the NBA backcourt has really changed dramatically. You think about guys like LeBron James and, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, or James Harden. The ball is in their hands a lot during the game. They're not your traditional backcourt. Uh, but I do think the skill set necessary, you have to be able to shoot the ball. You have to be able to play with uh, the ball and pick and roll. You got to be a facilitator, be able to be, create your own shot and your shots for others. It's really interesting how the NBA backcourt has changed through the years. Evolving like the rest of the game. Here's Neto. He's got five. Driving inside. Got it. He has seven. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Pass to Clarkson. There's the three. Pure from three-point range. Clarkson's got eight points. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Here's Neto. Three is off the mark. Gotten seven of their first nine shots to drop during the second. Clarkson outside. Here's the three. And Kamoko pulls it down. today an effortless basket inside boy you love how guys are making plays for one another here yeah just a balanced attack a total team effort to the inside can't get it now three or four shooting at 32 percent from the floor not good His first shot attempt, count it. Shooting has been tremendous. 63% for the game and scoring with confidence. On the wing, Clarkson. 
and that's his fourth bucket of the game in seven attempts. I love the confidence he's shooting with. Big improvement here in the second period. The wheels have come off a little bit leading up to this timeout. He has taken some low percentage shots, and it's killing the floor of their offense. More motion, more ball movement. That should lead to better looks for him and for their entire team. Conference standing now that the new year is upon us. They're sitting at the top of their conference right now with the number one record. Not posing much of a threat right now. Pass to Caboclo. Oh, trying his luck from deep. Clarkson grabs a miss. Clarkson's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the paint. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. And he's been an ideal teammate tonight. He's really creating plenty of looks with his passes. There's been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. Here's Kaboko. Five points in the game. Six. Lift it up from 17. Doesn't go. And he's 0 for 1 from the floor. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Back to Clarkson. To the middle. And he dunks it down. In terms of offense, they've been the more efficient team by far. They've had better patience, better shot selection so far, but we still have a long way to go. Beyond the arc. Oh, he missed that one. One for three in this one so far. the arc. And Kaboko pulls it down. Shooting just around 32% from the field. Misses from close range. They're enjoying a sizable lead. And what I like, B.A., they haven't stopped pressing the issue. Clarkson outside. Concentration to hit the double clutch layup. 21 points in the game. The defense tightens up, so he adjusts. Nice play. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Kaboko. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. Dude, it continues to impress. 65% for the field. On the wing, Clarkson. Oh, my leg. Down low. Pass to Caboclo. Just five on the clock. No one near him. And that one fall for him. He's 0 for 2. They're ready to keep this run rolling. Hey, it's been a pretty good one. And here's Clarkson. They set the screen. Tries it from 19. And the layup is good off the glass. He's got 11. The defense getting out hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. team just looks more in sync and is riding the momentum. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the time out or do you let your guys try to fight through it? Out left to the wing. 
A minute 58 left in the second period. Already oh, missed the J after tricking the D with a nifty pass fake. I don't know how many misses that is in a row, but I know it's ugly. Well, Grant, looking around the league right now, who do you think is the best player to have never won an MVP in the regular season? That's easy for me to hear. I have to go with the fun guy himself, Kawhi Leonard. Yes, we know he's won some MVPs in the NBA Finals, of course, and he's played big on that stage in the playoffs. He's never won a regular season MVP. We all say he's the best two-way player, perimeter player in the league. And he's done it for the last few years at such a high level. So what's interesting, he may never get it because he's really implemented this load management model to his season, which may hinder his ability to one day win a regular season in the Here's Felicio. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. A minute 29 left in the second. Man, that was good, Clarkson. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. <laughs> Not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. The shot to stop the run. The shot no good. To the paint. Off with the layup. <laughs> Shooting only 27% for today's game. There's 53 seconds left in the second quarter. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. Clarkson's got 11 here in the quarter alone. Building off a solid first quarter. He's been lights out here in the second. 20 seconds left to play. In the first half, here's Felicio. The three-pointer off the mark. Sports Halftime Show. After one half of play, it's been a one-sided affair. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jets. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, how'd you see it? Well, right now, they're winning the battle above the rest. I'm talking about... And it's just about time. the route that it's threatening to be. Shooting incredibly well, 63% and really making their shots count. They set the pick, fires the three, and Kaboko pulls it down. Three. That one is off. Three pointer hits the trifecta. Twenty four points for him. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific group right now. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Clarkson grabs a miss. 
Clarkson's got six rebounds here tonight. And if you're just joining us, we play just over a minute here in the third. Fires for three. The shot, no good. Shooting just 24% on this one. Not great. Here's Caboclo. Five points in the game. Drives to the hoop. He makes it from the left block. Got only one of four shots to fall in the second half. And there's a pick. Drills it from deep. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Count that one. And I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Gone two of five in this third quarter. And he drives in. <laughs> Foul called on the way up, so he'll take two from the free throw line. And something not many folks know about you, Grant, you're a terrific piano player. No, oh, B.A., terrific? Oh, you're very kind in that. But yes, I can play the piano. I took piano lessons uh, growing up as a child. I hated them. My mother made me take them. Uh, I did quit once I got into high school. Uh, and now, later on in life, I love to play the music. I can't walk by a piano without sitting down and playing. And I'm wishing that I had stuck with it and I didn't quit back when I was 13 years old. Uh, but it's one of my great passions and hobbies and something I enjoy doing very much. Carson, left side. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And he drops the first. Both good from the line that time. And really strong at the line since the break. Here's Neto. He's got seven. Unable to get that one. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Picked his pocket. Let's a floater go. Three pointer off the mark. Oh man, he hasn't had the rhythm tonight. Tried to make up for it there, but it just wasn't meant to be. And Kaboko pulls it down. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Counted from distance. Shooting the ball at 60%, an excellent average. Clarkson outside. They get the rebound. Connects from downtown. 11 points in the game. I like that approach, playing inside out, forcing the defense to scramble. Hey, face in the layup. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Oh, he brings it down with a two-handed jam. Putting consistent pressure on this defense. Just the threat of him out there makes this offense work. Here's Kaboko. He's got five. No luck on that one. And there's the screen. And he drops it. In. In from the low post. He has 29 now. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. The three ball. Clarkson grabs a miss. 
Clarkson's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Out there, miss for him. Shooting just about 33% since this second half started. To the left wing. Looking to get it going. Pass to Caboclo. Oh, from deep. Knocks it down from distance. Gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Now Clarkson. Here's Neto. Oh, made it a tough look for him as the defense really pressed up on him. And the ball ends up out of bounds. Now keep possession. Almost had the steal. You have to love the pressure defense. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. <laughs> you know, just determined to protect the lead with all the effort they've got. Superb anticipation on that block. Sends it home from three-point land. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. Pass to Felicio. And that one comes up a bit short. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. There's the drive. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. side. Here's Neto. Second chance effort. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send it to the line. It could be a three-point play. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. And that one misses. Going 7 of 13 in the second half. mistakes but you have to keep battling it's just one trip down the court but you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long pass to clarkson and that one drops here's neto he's got nine Felicio. Out to the wing. Three pointer. No luck on that one. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Astra Clarkson. To the inside. Uses the glass on the layup. And since the halftime break, their offense has just been on another level. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question, they settled in and executed brilliantly. Takes it inside. Neto's shot is off. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their calls. Shooting 27% in today's game. Not good. Let's go with a three. He can't get that one to fall. 
hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. Neto grabs the miss, shooting a low 29% since halftime. The three. No good on the shot. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. And you've seen they make numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Boy, they love us. Anyone can get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. <laughs> and so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. <laughs> the defender really went after him. The first free throw is good. It's both from the strike. Shooting well here in the third, hitting 50% of their shots. Right at the free throw line. That one's good for two. 33 points for him. You really have to question the defensive effort on that possession. They are getting bare tonight with plays like that one, allowing too much space for a good shooter. And he bounced for the ball, gets a second chance bucket. 14 points for him. Back in the day, someone would have blocked him out, but times have changed. Line jumper goes down. They're going old school out there now. Yes. Working the mid range part of the floor. We've got a minute 48 left in the third. Here's the day. Six on the shot clock. Driving to the basket. Shot from 12. Rolls around and rims out. Shooting an amazing 61%. Looking confident. There's a minute 17 left in the third quarter. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. What a little play. A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a statement right there, man. Shooting a low of 28% during this third. One oh two left in the third. Down to five on the shot clock. Takes the three. No good. Yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. The 11 footer. And too long on the shot. Twenty seven seconds left in the third quarter. Driving in. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lane. It's deflected. But they'll get another chance. decided. Delivering the blowout. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time. And now a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. So many good point guards in this league. So much responsibility comes with that position. That was a smart, smart play.
and there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Long target from range. A defensive breakdown. Can't afford to leave him open from range. Boy, Grant, the situation in the league last year forced a lot of players into some tough decisions. There really were a lot of tough decisions. First and foremost, you had the NBA bubble. People were concerned about the health and, and safety of players. And with that, you compromised. And some players decided and opted out of returning back to the bubble. And then, of course, you always have injuries. And that's always a problem. Players had to decide whether to come back, how long should we wait till next year. These are tough decisions I know personally I went through many times, many years ago, with regards to my injuries. And you know what? Players today are still having to make those tough decisions uh, in the game. They get it again. And down it goes. Yeah, that one. Oh! And B.A., he takes his rebounding so seriously. This dude is such a grinder. His teammates appreciate the effort. Just goes all out on the glass. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second chance opportunities. Six to shoot, jacks up a three. The shot misses. Going two of three to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Felicio. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. The ball's not loose. It's a one on one situation. Nails it from beyond the arc. Doing a terrific fifty eight percent for the floor. Grant, we saw a big change to the NBA All-Star format in 2020. You were on the call of that game. What was your take on the new setup? The new setup worked to perfection. And I have to I have to admit, BA, I was a little bit nervous and a little skeptical about this new format, but it worked. The players were competitive in the fourth quarter, the fans in the arena, the broadcasters, people at home, everybody was on the edge of their seat watching this uh, battle go back and forth where ultimately Team LeBron's team won the game. Uh, I'll tell you what, though, it speaks about the NBA's willingness to be creative, to be innovative, and not be stuck in so-called tradition uh, as the game has evolved and changed through the years. So kudos to the NBA, but also to the players for making it a memorable All-Star Weekend. Something that's here to stay. I agree. Shot to win the cold streak. He buries it from three. In order to create effective spacing, you need enough guys on the floor that can hit from downtown. It goes back up. And he lays it up at him. The way they've hit the offensive boards in the second half, you would think they're the team that's leading. Played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. From deep, drops him the three. Gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. <laughs> Working so hard on the 
slacks. You know, you look at how they built this league. It's been through extra possessions. Mm -hmm. Off target with a jump hook. Gone six for 11 here in the fourth quarter. He takes it in. Here's the name. Takes a three. The shot off that time. it up from 15. It's tipped. And he gets it back. Shooting at even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. Here's Silva. There's the drive. Lays it up and banks it in. Shooting it with confidence. 54% so far. To stop the throw. Sinks it from distance. The defense takes a chance, leaves him open at the arc, and he capitalizes. to shoot. And the three-pointer goes. We've gotten eight of 14 shots to drop so far here in the fourth quarter. There's the drive. This one for three. They get it back. Controls the rebound and the putback. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. There's the triple. Sinks the tray. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Here's Silva. Well, we've heard discussions around the league. They may be shortening seasons, Grant, but how about shortening games? You know, we saw that in the bubble in the exhibition games where they went to 10-minute quarters. Whoa, slow down here. Look, VA, I am all about shortening the season. The season is definitely very long and taxing on players. Uh, and I'm all about evolving and being innovative as our game continues to grow. The shortening games, no, 48 minutes, must keep it there. I'm a firm believer that you must keep the game just at 48 minutes. Here's Silva. From 18 feet away. Goes back up. And the layup is up and in. Effort play, pursuing the basketball. Love how he puts in the work. From 17, Nene grabs the board. Shooting only 33%, not exactly consistent offense. He takes it in. Fires from deep. Knocks down the triple. He's the last guy you want to leave alone on the perimeter. Shooting is around 55% so far. So 
frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help the team finish the job. Here's Silva. You know, Grant, a few years ago, the NBA moved up the trade deadline to the four All-Star weekend. So it's had some effects. The trade deadline is earlier. There's the buyout market involved as well. Teams really can't change their roster in different ways now. Yeah, they really can change their roster. That's important for teams as they prepare for the stretch run ending the season post All-Star weekend. But the bottom line, I think it helps the GMs and the front offices because you know what? They can enjoy their All-Star weekend now. Before, they had to wait until after All-Star weekend to execute a trade. They get it done now, and then now they can enjoy their week off during the All-Star break. Ah, now we get the real story. <laughs> Very nice. on the clock. From the arc. And unable to corral the miss as it goes out of play. Shooting at 31% here in this fourth quarter. And when you're the ones trying to fight your way back into the game, you simply cannot allow second chances. Especially when you're this far down, you have to make the most of every sequence. This is the three. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Hey, from beyond the arc. Silva with a rebound. Shooting great so far. 52% of the floor. Here he goes. And he drops in the layup off the glass. One eleven left in the fourth. Man, there was so much going on in the country last summer. And we saw a lot of NBA players at the forefront of activism. NBA, it was really special to see these young players using their voice, using their resources, making a difference. Not just shining light on all the challenges that we're facing, but really being proactive in their efforts, organizing, being on the front lines, working with organizations to try to make a difference. I was impressed with the activism. I was impressed with the leadership from these NBA players. And if you noticed, athletes from other sports follow the lead of these players from the NBA. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Comes up empty down low. Going inside. Good on the shot. Five ticks left in the final quarter. Eleven feet out. He gets it in there. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. And so the road team.